Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here. It's Tuesday. It is. I am. I gotta. I gotta pull my head out of the clouds here. I. Uh, I just got in from Moscow last night. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. What time is it? it feels yeah, like it's late at night. One oh one. Yeah, but um, I'm actually not jet lagging too bad. Although I thought I would be, but uh, we had a great time in Moscow. We went over uh, last week and on Wednesday. And uh, isn't, that, isn't that weird? It, it, what a great time to be alive. It's been yeah. less than a week, and I've been to Moscow and back. I've been to the other side of the world and back. It's crazy. But um, we had a great week. Uh, we went over there, myself, Max Howard, Barry, uh, Barry Cook, Tim Hodge, uh, several other people. Uh, had a wonderful time. And uh, we, um, we gave uh, a bunch of lectures on animation, story, all kinds of things over there at the Global Animation Forum in Mex uh, Mexico, in Moscow. And um, it was wonderful. We had a huge crowd of about 700 people, and, uh, and we had a really good time. And I got to go to a country and go to a city I've never been to before. So that was great. And then I just got home late last night, and we are back into it. And so we're back here today, and I was thinking maybe today... Uh, we could do a request day. I always love doing request day. I never know what I'm going to come up with. Right now, I don't know. I don't know what's going to be. Know. But I've got Dustin with me. Say hi, Dustin. Hang on a sec. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Hang on a sec. <laughs> I'm going there, <laughs> And uh, we've got Nick, my business partner, Nick Birch. He's going to be in Sarasota, as usual, fielding questions. We're going to have a great time. Before we get any further, I want to let you guys know. We announced this while I was gone, but I haven't talked to you guys about it. Really, really big announcement. We're super excited about this. We're going to be doing our first master class. Um, as you guys know, in July, well, maybe you don't, uh, not all of you, but in July, we're going to be doing a workshop on uh, watercolor painting, uh, landscape watercolor painting. Myself and Ronnie Williford, we're going to be doing that in Manchester, England at Peckforton Castle. That was for a very limited size class of 25 people. <coughs> we have decided to do a big master class. Uh, where I'm going to lecture on things like animation, creature design, story, a lot of different things, uh, my career, um, and, uh, uh, and as it pertains how you can shape your own career. Um, we're going to be doing that in Orlando, August 3rd and 4th. And, um, and that one's open to a lot of people. So we want to bring you guys in. So uh, uh, tickets are on sale right now at creatureartteacher.com backslash Orlando 2019. Okay, so check it out. It's at creatureartteacher.com backslash Orlando 2019. We've been able to procure a beautiful, beautiful theater where we're going to be doing this, and it happens to be right next door to the Orlando Art Museum. The Orlando Science Center is there, and we're going to be there. And uh, we've got a full weekend, a uh, Saturday and Sunday, August 3rd, 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 3rd and 4th, August 3rd and 4th, and, um, and I'm just going to be there talking to you about a lot of different things, doing live demonstrations, and I'll be able to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one as well, so that'll be a good opportunity there. I'm really, really, really excited about this, as, as is Nick and Dustin, we're going to be able to get to meet you guys. So please, if you can swing it, come on down to Orlando, Florida that weekend and come and see us. We're going to have a great time. And uh, hey, and if you can extend it, go to Disney. What the heck, you know? Or, or don't go to Disney. Go to the beaches. But, um, but anyway, I wanted to put that out there. That's, once again, that's August 3rd and 4th, creatureartteacher.com backslash Orlando 2019. Okay? Go check it out on our website. You're going to love it. Um, so meanwhile, oh, I wanted to show you also. Um, so I was, uh, can you pull up the camera, Dustin? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I got really bored while I was on the plane. First of all, I want to show this sketchbook. I got this sketchbook as a gift from my good friend, Bobby Chu. And as uh, many of you, some of you don't know, Bobby Chu uh, runs Schoolism. And uh, we're very good friends, and I went over and did some lectures in London for him for his master class, and, and in return, um, among other things, he gave me this sketchbook with one of my drawings on the cover of it, which was really, really cool. But And then he did a really nice little 
signature there for me. Uh, very, very nice. He's such a great little character, creature designer. But, um, but on the trip, I was able to, uh, in ballpoint pen, just do a ton of drawing. And these, you know, when I'm on a trip doing drawings like this, they're really <laughs> stream of consciousness sketches. It might be somebody that I saw. But they really, there's really no rhyme or reason to the drawings. I'm just sitting there drawing whatever pops into my head. And you'll see there's a super wide variety of styles and subject matter as to what I draw. And, um, and what I love about this sketchbook is that it's small enough that, you know, I can fill, you know, both. I can do a two-page spread and, uh, and it's really cool. Um, I can, you know, I can take <clears throat> maybe an hour on something like this. And the whole purpose of these drawings is to take up time. And so you'll see that a lot of them tend to be very detailed and kind of noodly. Uh, because I'm just sitting there trying to kill time and, I, and, and just filling page after page after page with details. Uh, and so that's, they have the kind of their own style because it's not my normal style. Uh, but they're a lot of fun. And uh, like I said, it's just, I mean, the subject matter is all over the place. Just completely all over the place. Um, actually, we were out at the museum, and I saw this hooded crow, which I'd never really seen in person. So I sat down and did a very quick sketch of this hooded crow that was walking by. They have got a very cool markings. Uh, and then these very quick, light sketches of people at the museum. Uh, this is the Russian Orthodox Church. That's in Red Square. I did a very quick sketch of that. And then back on the plane, on our way home, more drawings, stream of consciousness. Some of these are animals. Um, just scribbles, really, some of them. Uh, I was watching movies with characters that I thought were cool, so I did a sketch of somebody off the, off the movie. This was one that was a lot of fun. I really got into the detail on this, of this girl, uh, kind of a ghost, and just did all these ribbons and things in her hair. And, uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, YouTube comment. Ooh, more drawings for Dustin to scan. <laughs> That's true. Yay! <laughs> so, but you can see, I mean, this is, this is less than a week's worth of drawings, so um, it's just constant... That's me, uh, drunk and having a good time, I think. <laughs> In the Russian style. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, this stream of consciousness, drawing, just drawing whatever pops into my head. Sometimes, this is like, this is, was, when I doodle on the phone, when I'm on the phone doodling, this is what I doodle all the time. Faces like this in profile. And that's kind of what came out on this one. I was just really just... Kind of looking out the window daydreaming and uh, just weird stuff uh, I was coming up with a creature here I didn't like it so I gave up on it and then did this creature instead like that a lot more but this is a little walk down the last week of drawings there's a big bear this one I really had fun just painting the fur texture coming up with that and, and uh, doing it in pen I used up, I think, a third of my pen on this drawing. <laughs> All the ink and everything in it. But uh, but it was fun. It was a fun drawing to do. And what else have I got? I got a little creature right here. Barry, Barry, uh, Barry Cook was talking to me about some creatures for something he was doing. And so I did a couple little sketches for him. He was like, yeah, 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 that's what I was talking about. Barry's from Tennessee. That's my Tennessee accent. This guy looks a little bit too much like Pleakley, I think, from uh, Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch, yeah. But I had good intentions. And then this guy, I was watching uh, a, a movie that had cavemen in it, and uh, so I wanted to do somebody that you know from way back when, an Ice Age man, what he might look like. So I did that sketch, and that's it. That's the last one. But it was I, I was able to do quite a few. It's fun. Uh, yeah, actually, YouTube requests. Please do horses. I'm doing your horse course and would love to see some more from you. You know what? That's a great idea. I should have drawn some horses. I didn't even think to draw any horses. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna switch over. There we go. So we're back. So anyway, uh, YouTube question. Hey Aaron, I have a question regarding your master class that will take place in Orlando in August. Are there age requirements? I don't think there are. No, no. Um, you uh, you have to be alive. <laughs> alive. Yeah, I think that's the only requirement. So come on in. Uh, tw twenty-seven. You can't be twenty-seven. You can't be twenty-seven. No, if you're twenty-seven, you can't come. But other any other age is fine. Like you can be higher or lower, but just not twenty. Yeah, not twenty-seven. So that's the only age requirement. I'm. I'm yeah, no twenty-seven-year-olds. So <laughs> I'm kidding. But uh, uh, no, no age requirements at all. So please, if you want to bring a young aspiring artist, then please bring them. I would. And those. Are, I, I love talking to younger uh, uh, students that. You know, want to get into art and don't know what to do. Um, you know, I, I just I like doing that. When I did my trip to China a couple of years ago, I did a whole month long trip uh, with the Dulwich School, international schools, and I all those students I talked to were between, between the ages of four and eighteen. And uh, for me, that was one of the most fulfilling trips I'd ever taken because they're really, really eager and uh, and you know interested in, in what to do with their lives. And so it's something I, I I'll always remember. Uh, so anyway, do we have any, uh, it's request day. So I need to hear from you guys. What is it that you want me to draw today? Well, somebody I'm... requested a KGB bear. Oh, uh, actually KGB bear. That sounds cool. I like that one right off the yeah, bat. Right off the bat. Yeah. So, so there was also a Smokey the bear cop. Uh, I think there was a moose. Somewhere. KGB bear. I like that. Let's just go with that. I like KGB bear. Now I don't know what a KGB outfit looks like, so we got to do our research. Let's let me jump over. Sorry, uh, Nick, I have to go off of deep thoughts really quick. Uh, KGB uniform. Oh yes. Oh, this is gonna be good. Oh, there's Putin. There's a Putin. Let's see here. There's a young Putin. A young Putin Putin. All right, KGB. That's a parade dress. But, I mean, the KGB. The, oh, I like this one. This is our KGB. Oh, I kind of like the... the what, do you, what do you like better? The big round officer's cap, I guess, is what it's called? Or the... The, the soft hat. Here, I'll the, show you. The soft hat. Let's, let's... Ah, I just clicked on it. Sorry, hold on. Bring him down. Yes, I will. And the bear's name will be Comrade Pickup Dropov. Pickup Dropov. <laughs> we were going, Barry, Barry Cook, we were, we were going into the hotel and there was an area for pickup and drop off. He goes, that sounds Russian. Pickup Dropov. Pickup Dropov. All right, so I've never heard of KGB before. What's that? Somebody wrote, never heard of KGB before. Well, then you were probably born before the uh, after the fall of the Soviet Union. Yeah, because the KGB was um, they were the, like a secret police. Or yeah, something? the Soviet secret police, yeah. sort of like our CIA. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's see. Um, let's see. I've got to open up. And yeah, somebody, somebody said. Uh, Somebody recommends the round officer's hat. The round officer's hat? Yeah. I think that would look good on the bear. Yeah, make him look like a, like a, like a officer, like a veteran officer. Well, there you go. Make there him look like, go. I'm getting a spinning wheel. I don't like that. I had a spinning wheel in my head just now. Ah, uh, what's going on? I mean, I Photoshop is not responding. Oh, I got it. I yes, got there, there are Kodak bears somewhere. What's that? In Russia? In, actually, a place called Kumchatka, which is a big peninsula north of Japan, uh, in Soviet Union. Oh, Soviet Union. Sorry about that. That's, <laughs> that shows my age. In Russia. In Russia. Uh, on the eastern side of Russia, there's a place called Kumchatka, and it's a pretty lowly inhabited area of Russia, north of Japan, uh, and it's very volcanic. Uh, very much like uh, lots of geysers and hot pots, like Yellowstone, but also in western Alaska, there's a place called the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, which is another area of lots of geysers. It's all connected to the same kind of line, uh, border, the, the same plates come together. 
uh, in that area. And it's a super high concentration of grizzly bears there. I got to open up Photoshop again. I got, I got the spinning wheel. So he asked, do you like the Russian Santa in the Jack Frost film? I the loved party? the Russian Santa. In the, in the garden? I did. I really did. I really liked it. I know a lot of people didn't like it. I loved his... He had tattoos, too, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he I had loved one it. arm that, that said naughty, another arm that said nice. I loved that idea. I just thought that was the coolest idea. I really did. Uh, okay, let me see if I can do this now. Open. Don't go to the spinning wheel. Why is it doing this? I'm going to let it sit for a yeah. second. There's something weird going on. Who was it? I might have voice? to reboot. Who was that voice? The... Uh, the Santa Claus in that one. Do you remember? Alec Baldwin. What? Yeah. Yeah, that was Alec Baldwin. Alec, that was Alec Baldwin doing yeah. a Russian yeah. Santa. Yeah. Hey, I got to reboot. Um, if I reboot, does that mean it's going to it's gonna kill the, the stream, isn't it? You're going to, are you restarting the entire computer? I might have to because I can't get, for some reason, Photoshop is not responding. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are uh, having technical difficulties. Let me try this. I'm going to try something different. And now for something completely different. <laughs> I'm going to try something completely different. Um, let me get rid of this. Let me go, let me do this. And this. And I'm going to go to... I shouldn't. I actually didn't have to do that in the first place. Go to Finder. Where's Finder? Finder is Find. down there. Finder's not even coming up, and I'm getting a spinning wheel. Well, folks, as often happens in live streams such as my own, I think we're gonna have to reboot and come back on. Uh, that is very unfortunate. Finder's not responding now. Okay, I gotta. I've got to reboot. So we're going to end this stream temporarily. We will be back momentarily. Hold on, I gotta relaunch. Oh, keep going? No, I can't right now. I gotta relaunch. There we go. Maybe if, uh, since I relaunched Finder, maybe that'll help. Okay. Sorry, sorry, you guys. I swear, I'll have it fixed in just a second. Nick is calling. Nick is calling. Oh, not on my uh, my phone's upstairs. Hello. Force quit bridge. Oh, Adobe Bridge is open. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, I don't know why that's open. I didn't see that either. Let me turn off Acrobat Reader. Uh, should I force quit OBS? Uh, <laughs> that, yeah, that's, that's a negative. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me come back to... I just lost everything on my desktop. I don't know why it's not there, but... All right, let me try opening. No, still not working. Still nothing. Still not working, folks. Sorry, we're dragging this out too much. I'm gonna. I just gotta just get out. I gotta reboot. All right, I'm gonna end the stream. Sorry, folks. We'll be back in five minutes. All right. Sorry. Don't go away. We'll be right.